What's up guys, my name is Artagriel and I am a member of the Onyx Angels team and today we're going to be doing another deck structure here on the Dueling Network. Now before we get started, I would like to issue, issue a couple apologies. First off, I'm sorry that our videos were so delayed. We ran into a few technical difficulties and that prevented us from posting last week and that is also why this video is delayed. Um, another apology I would like to issue is to one of our fans, Magical Ash, who requested a Dark Magician Girl deck. I was sadly unable to find any good combinations with Dark Magician Girl that kept her as the focus of the deck, so I was unable to make the deck she specified. Apologies in advance, and if any of you know a way that that's possible, Please drop a comment so I can complete that deck for her. I assume it's a her. She she told me it was a her, so I'm trusting her on that. <laughs> but, um, anyways, let's get started. This is my Karibo deck. I built it for my own personal use. And while it could definitely use some improvement, it's pretty goddamn good. So, first off, of course, we've got three Karibos. Then we've got three winged Karibos, and I use winged Karibo because, well, if they're destroyed by battle, you really don't lose any life points for the remainder of that battle, or for the remainder of that turn, rather, so it's good. Plus, you have to have winged Karibo in a Karibo deck. That's why it's a Karibo deck. Uh, we've got a Worm Lynx, just for drawing cards. Marshmallow, just for a basic defense. Uh, three Shining Angels, so that we can, you know, bring back our Karibos and Wing... Or no, our Winged Karibos, our Worm Links, or our Marshmallows back from the grave when the Shining Angels die. And they really, they, they really don't have that bad of an attack force. Then we've got three Alexandrite Dragons. Uh, next up, we've got one Cave Dragon, another 4-star 2,000 attacker. Uh, an Axe Dragonute, another 4-star 2,000 attacker, plus when it attacks, it's changed to defense. So, as long as you don't, uh, as long as you don't screw up, it's kind of hard to destroy it with just attacks and cause you damage, at least. Uh, a couple Mirage Dragon or Dodger Dragons, Dodger Dragons, not Mirage, because uh, it can't be negated, and it's good for if you want to pull out an all-out offensive, because your opponent can't activate trap cards the turn you play it. After that, we've got three Winged Karibo level 10s. Now, the reason we have this is... Uh, you special summon it by sacrificing one of your winged Karibos with Transcendent Wings, and you contribute this card to destroy all attack position monsters your opponent has and inflict damage to them equal to their combined attack strength. So this is a pretty good fuck you card, in essence. Next, moving on to the spells, we've got Card Trader, two of those just for... A quick, um, you know, if you got a shit hand, you can trade one or two of those cards out, depending on how many you have. Uh, we've got two pots of duality, just for a quick draw. Three flutes of summoning Karibo, that way you can just power pull those Karibos if you need, or winged Karibos. Uh, three transcendent wings, of course. Three Multiply for a defensive move. And for our last spell, which for some reason is down here at the end of the deck. Let's fix that, shall we? We've got Messenger of Peace. So that monsters with 1,500 more attack points, or 1,500 or more attack points, can't attack. So that's that's a nice little plus. Uh, then we moving on to traps, we've got three Mirror Force, obvious reasons. Three scrap iron, scrap iron Scarecrows, so that way you can deflect an attack. And um, 
and you can just reset Scrap Iron Scarecrow instead of sending it to the grave. Three Magic Cylinders for obvious reasons. Three Dimension Walls because much like Mirror Force, your opponent takes damage. However, instead of just, or much like Magic Cylinder, my bad, um, instead of just taking damage equal to what the, the attacking monster's attack was, they take damage equal to what you would have taken. So this is one of those trap cards you really want to save and use wisely because you'll have those events where you'll flip it, but you would have only taken 100 damage. And then you don't have it on the field for when you take 3,000 damage. So you really want to save that. Then we got three Calls of the Haunted. Obvious reasons. Bring back some monsters from the grave. An Ojama Trio to kind of fill up three slots of their field so they can't attack. And they can't tribute this Ojama Trio, or these three tokens rather. And plus, each time one of these tokens is destroyed, they take 300 life points per token. Uh, we've got Vanity's Emptiness to prevent um, special summons, which, again, you want to use wisely because this prevents both players from special summoning. And um, once a card leaves your field, it's destroyed. So, you want to hold off on that until you know it's going to last a while. Uh, three Needle Walls, just because I, I like it. You set it, and each turn you roll a six-sided die. Um, lands one through five, you destroy the corresponding monster. And then, if it lands six, you roll again. So, it it's kind of a nice field clearer. Then we've got two Jar of Avarices. Return five cards... To your, to your hand from your graveyard. And then moving on to the XYZ monsters, or, well, the extra, but they're all XYZ, so... We've got number 13, Embodiment of Crime, and number 31, Embodiment, embodiment of Punishment. These essentially have the same effects. Um, you can detach one XYZ material from it and change all monsters you can your opponent controls to face up attack position, and all monsters they control have to attack this turn if able. And then if you control both of these at the same time, number 31 gets cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects while it has an XYZ material, and your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from attacks on this card. Um, number 13, I believe, has the same effects as 31 as far as special effects, which it does. However, they are codependent on each other. You only get those two special effects if they're out at the same time. Uh, then we have Slacker Magician, purely because she cannot be destroyed by battle, and an XYZ material uh, detachment negates an, a card activation. Then we've got Mira the Starbearer. Um, if it's destroyed, you can detach an XYZ material instead. And level 4 or lower monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. And last, we have number 54, Lionheart. This phase-up attack position card cannot be destroyed by battle. And when you take battle damage, you inflict that damage equal to equal to what you took on your opponent, and you can detach an XYZ material to just have your opponent take the battle damage instead of you. So that's that's it. That's the Karibo deck. If you have any suggestions on how to make it better, please drop a comment below, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more great content.